Welcome back to what should be the second last episode in Spyro the Dragon series. Um, now before we get going, um, please do consider dropping a follow, a like, a share, anything. You know, it's all greatly appreciated. It does help the channel grow. Um, but we'll get dive right into this episode. Um, today I'm going to be more of a whinge. And I'm sure that this is not a unique experience for for me. It's not. It's not even a unique experience for 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 anyone. We've all encountered some version of this bullshit, and I reckon it's a pretty good um, indicator of what the 21st century is like. It's no one can give you a straight answer, which is probably one of the more frustrating elements toward toward job application. And you know. We're all trying to get ourselves a good job, a better job, all of that sort of thing. But for mine, you know, I had this email for an application that I'd sent a few weeks back. And, you know, I followed up. I hadn't heard anything. You know, the usual sort of story. But basically it goes as such. I will blank out all of the... All the information that could be damning for somebody because I don't want to make it damning because you know I've experienced these 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 um, emails or these rejection notices before and I don't want any one particular company to cop anything because it's it's pretty rough anyway it goes dear Michael I hope this message finds you well I am writing to you regarding your application for Yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to talk about that one. Firstly, I would like to extend my sincere appreciation for the time and effort you invested in your application. We understand that applying for such opportunities requires considerate or considerable effort, and we are grateful that you considered yada, yada, yada as a potential step in your career path. After a, after a thorough review of numerous applications, I regret to inform you that we will not be moving forward with your application at this time. The decision was not easy given the high calibre of many applicants, including yourself. It's important to note that this outcome is not a reflection of your qualifications or potential, but rather as a result of the highly competitive nature of the selection process. We are heartened by the interest and talents of all our applicants and encourage you to continue pursuing your passion for finance and investments. The industry is dynamic and often challenging, but offers numerous opportunities for growth and learning. We wish you the best in your ongoing academic endeavours and forthcoming professional journey. Warm regards, and I will blank out the name. Now, you may suspect bullshit. Lots of bullshit here, because, well, let's be honest. If we go back all the way to, was not given, was not an easy decision, because, and it is not a reflection of your qualifications or potential, then what is it a reflection of? I mean, it, <laughs> if it's not that, it must be my heinous personality. What, what else could it be? Because it is an absolute cop-out reason to be like, rather a result of a highly competitive nature of the selection process, which I can appreciate. But you know, we'd prefer, or at least I would prefer, the straight up answer of you know what you just weren't quite clever enough you know there was a dude or a chick who you know had an incredible high school i'd much prefer that honesty it's almost as if they're trying to protect themselves as if someone's going to give you a lawsuit for you know inadequate opportunity or whatever it is but this isn't defamation it wouldn't be defamation to say you know what i found someone better I'm a private business, I'm doing what I do. And you go, cool, I'm not going to dispute that. I suppose it's the lies. The lies I'd like to not have to battle. Or not so much lies, but it's just like not giving you an actual reason. Because, you know, we all want constructive feedback. We all want an actual piece of information that we can actually work with. So then we can actually do something about what will make us more viable as people or a more viable candidate into a into a workforce instead of this pandering because you know they because 
in this in this case, they did ask me to be to be doing a IQ test, and not to flex or anything, but I was given an IQ of 118, which was nice. My friends will dispute that I do not have an IQ of 118 because I make too many stupid choices and and make too many boneheaded choices. And you know what? I find it very difficult for me to refute that. It is a bloody mystery as to how I've got this far in life. But anyway, and you know, they ask you about what was your ATAR score, and those who don't know what an ATAR score is, it's, what you, it's a score you get when you finish school, or, or high school rather, in Australia, and I haven't done high school in something like 10 years, so that was a bizarre request, but anyway, um, not that I did particularly well, because, well, I don't know about you guys, but I was a bit of a late bloomer, and being a late bloomer does mean that... You somewhat take the piss when you're 17, doing these exams, doing all of those things that seemingly matter at the time, but I suppose that's that's the ultimate bitch about, about me doing this, is a big old bitch about just the inability for many different, um, for many different, uh, jobs or many different yeah application processes where people just seemingly don't want to tell either the truth or just give you honest feedback because I think that's what people ultimately want because I don't mind if I got rejected because you know I've, I've been rejected for jobs before I'll be rejected for jobs again in the future that's okay that's all good the issue isn't the rejection. The issue is um, meaningless, nothing statements to say why you didn't get something. And it's just like when all people really want is some honest feedback. And I would say that this is a real massive reflection upon, upon what it is for modern day workforces is the inability to be honest. And that's, it's a frustrating element. It, it really does frustrate me to no end. But, you know, it's enough of that. Too much negativity for one day. So we're going to talk about the gameplay, have a bit of fun. That is why we're here. We've all got our own bloody problems. So let's talk about the bloody gameplay. Have a bit of fun. So being more positive, it's time to be more positive. Let's, let's talk about this, you know. Charge, charge some weird frog looking dudes, do all of those bits, but anyway, I just had to get that off my chest, I'm, I've been, I've received too many of those sorts of bloody notices, so anyway, doing what we do, these motherfuckers here, I swear to god, he is, these guys are just the worst all the time, the, I mean, I seemingly can never avoid them, they just always get me. But I suppose with this level, I don't understand why they um, got rid of the, the gun element of it, given that, you know, I'd said in a previous episode they had cannons and they kept the cannons authentic, but they took away the guns and they made a paintball and I don't know, it kind of... At least for this level, it did reduce the um, the ominous, ominous sort of theme of this level, and just the intensity of how, as you gradually went along in in this Spyro the Dragon game, it became gradually more dark, gradually more intense, and, and it was a nice gradual progression, but. They just, you know, went with the paintball. And, and, I mean, people can talk about it, the sensitivities about guns and all of that sort of thing and the relationship people have with guns. And we're not here to talk about the politics of guns. I'm just... It's not my domain. It's not my interest. I have my opinions and I'm not going to force it on anybody's head. But it's just... At least in the theme of this... 
of, of the game itself. It's just like, why? Why did it have to change from that, but still retain the authenticity of there being cannons? Because it's not like cannons are any less lethal than a bloody, <laughs> a bloody gun. They're both pretty, pretty destructive pieces of equipment. So I don't know. I don't know where that discernment came from. I, th I, th outside of, wow, 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 wow. That did not work. Turn out good at all. Like I said, those guys really mess me about all the time. But I, d I never understood why um, they took that approach of it was too much for for uh, you know this as far as like it was too intense but then we still have cannons. I don't know. It's inconsistent. It's an inconsistent position to hold. Um, but I don't know. I just didn't want the game to be messed with. But we're coming to an end of this gameplay. If you have enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. And I'll let the gameplay play out. Bye.